Vermont State Senator Norm McAllister pleaded not guilty today to charges he tried to extract sexual favors in exchange for rent, use sex as punishment, and told a woman they could both earn extra money if she had sex with farm workers. Prosecutors say the charges against the 63 year old conservative involve three victims. McAllister, a successful Franklin County dairy farmer, is in his second two year Senate term. He was arrested Thursday outside the State House. WPTZ's Rachel Cars is live in our newsroom with the latest details on this disturbing saga with State House ties. Rachel? George, neighbors who have lived across the street from the senator told WPTZ today they never saw any of this coming. McAllister appeared in court today to deny what police say are years of sexual assault. I just never would have uh, felt normal doing anything like that. Longtime neighbor Shane Lloyd reacts to accusations against Republican lawmaker Norm McAllister. Not guilty to each of the counts. McAllister pled not guilty Friday to sexual assault and his alleged participation in three prohibited acts, including trading rent for sexual favors. Prosecutor Jim Hughes says he's yet to see a case like this in his 30 year career. I haven't had to bring a charge based on that. I can't tell you that it's not happened or been charged, but. Um, this is, in my experience, an unusual situation. McAllister represents Elberg and the northern parts of Franklin County. Investigators say the 63 year old senator forced his female farm workers to engage in sexual acts. According to court paperwork, McAllister told the victims they could live in this trailer in exchange for sex. Police say one victim said the senator offered to take her to a farm where she could have sex with a group of farmhands for money. McAllister's defense attorney says that's only one side of the story. We have a much different version of a events. Uh, we ask people not to ru make any rush to judgment and I hope in short order uh, our side of things will come to light. That's why Lloyd says he's not jumping to conclusions just yet. I'd like to know the full story. I'm not, I'm not going to uh, judge him until complete uh, investigation and, and he's convicted or whatever. McAllister is out on bail tonight under the conditions he does not contact the three victims. No word yet on the next court date. Live in the newsroom tonight, Rachel Cars, WPTZ News Channel 5. In Montpelier.